<laughs> awesome. It looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. Oh, I need to eat. Thank you. 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 What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you live from Gumni, the second largest city in Armenia, arts and crafts capital of the country. You have to come here, but today what I'm doing is I'm driving back to Yerevan and then later tonight I'm flying to Kuwait. I'm so excited, I've had an incredible trip, 10 epic days, and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk to you all about it. Are you ready? You want some? Yeah, I'll take one. The best. I'll take one, let's go. And yeah, we have a two hour drive, it's 2.45. We need to be there about 4, 45, 5 at 6 o'clock. I have an interview. Then we have like a dinner. Then the airport. Yeah. So 1 a.m. I'm going to the airport. We both slept like two hours straight. Actually, it was like an hour and a half. This guy flew. We got here really, really fast. So we're entering Yelavin now. Capital of Armenia. Ooh, I can see Mount Arat right there. Arat's everywhere. So this is Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. I really, really love this place. I'm actually thinking about purchasing an apartment here. There's so many things to do. There's so many friendly people. There's crafts, there's wine, there's food. There's never ending hospitality. I mean, one of the friendliest countries in the world. People here have really changed the way I see the world. I'm so happy I came here. 10 days have, have been epic. This is my favorite trip of 20, 2019 for sure. I have a big thanks to my friend Guyana, my friends at Armenia Travel, to my driver. <laughs> and to Lucine for giving me such a great, great trip. You know, it's not about the country, it's about the people. The people is what makes a nation. And besides that, the food has been delicious. Non-stop veg, non-stop meats. And where are we, where are we? So we're making a quick stop here, I think at a t-shirt place. I think it's one of the people I met in, uh, in Arani Wine Festival. What is this? That's for me. Special gifts for my friends here at Tosp. The company's called okay, Tosp, right? Yes. Tosp, yeah, Tosp. You have to come here, they have beautiful, beautiful t-shirts, sweaters, love the designs, it's all about Armenian history. So they have here, so you can see like a, like a queen, I guess a princess, here's like a symbol of the country. Because I know, I know, it is your culture, the best, the best culture, I love it, I love Armenia. Armenia is the best. You know how old is it? This, this country? Yeah. I think it's like 6,000? Yes. 6,000. I went to the oldest winery in the world. Yeah. In Arni. 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 We are so proud of what we have. I we know. don't have oil, but we have talent. I know, I know. And which is much better because oil <laughs> is gonna be finished, but not the talent. They're way too nice. They gave me a t shirt of a king, of an ancient king. Awesome. Really, really nice people. I literally just ran into them. I was like, oh, I love that. And they're like, oh, we're the owners. I was like, yeah, I want one. They were like, just come to our store, you got one. Lots of traffic today entering the city, but it is five o'clock, so, you know, it's standard on a weekday. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, if you didn't see my other videos, you know, this country is about wine and brandy. They make some of the best brandy on the planet. I that brandy, so good. That cognac is so fire. And then in terms of wine, we tried so many different wines. I mean, literally, I tried a different type of wine every single day. It's like two main grapes, or three main grapes. They're all indigenous. That's what I like about it. It wasn't just like, you know, the, the you know, Shiraz, you know, Gris, et cetera, from around the world. These were like indigenous grapes. Tried so many. I went to the Adani Wine Festival. It was the reason why I came in October, because I needed to go for that event. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're entering, we're almost here at the Congress. We just passed out of Brandy, another uh, wine brandy factory right there. My hotel's right here, Congress Hotel. I'm checking in, I have an interview in one hour exactly, and then I have dinner with the entire team at Armenia Travel. My friend, too much stuff, huh? Too much. That's not even full yet, I still gotta fill up with some more stuff. And I had a big issue because I'm going to Kuwait after this trip. I can't take any alcohol because it's dry state, so. I'm loving my room here at the Congress Hotel. I stayed here at the beginning of the trip. You know, I stayed for like three nights. Really enjoyed my stay here. The staff is super friendly, incredible buffet, but the best part is the view from the balcony. Check this view out. So right here in front of us, we have the square. It's called 2,800 years, because last year, yet have been celebrated the 2,800 year anniversary. Love this, look at this. It's Yedevin. All right guys, I'm gonna quickly get ready, 
have an interview in about 45 minutes. Let's go. My name is Gaine. Gaine. I'm a journalist for Media Max Media Company, and Perfect. I'm here to interview David. <laughs> awesome. And my best bud Hello. right here. Gaiane, are you good? You're looking yeah. beautiful. Look at this, uh, all dressed cool. up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing the new t-shirt. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah, it looks good. Is this a king or who uh, yeah. is he? He said that it's uh, he's from kind of dynasty. I need to check out. Okay, I, yeah, I just know like it, it's everything Armenian, they have yeah, is like ancient stuff. Ancient stuff, yeah, with Armenian kings. Perfect. I don't know exactly which king <laughs> because we had a lot of I know, I know. Too many, too many, too much from history, different, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And here we are, this is 2800 square, right? 2800 yeah, right. square? I love it. It knows better. <laughs> You're never thirsty in Armenia. All right, I just had an epic interview, really long interview, about an hour, but we did a lot of things, talked about the whole trip, everything from gastro, vino, you know, scenery, all the destinations. And right now we're actually going to a Syrian Armenian restaurant. And if you guys didn't know, it was a huge Armenian community in Syria. And during the war, they all moved back here. A lot of people moved back here. And they have incredible cuisine. It's a little different, but it's still Armenian. I'm excited. We are going to a Syrian Armenian restaurant. Here we go, Mayrik. Mayrik meets mother. 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 Hey. You're looking great. Look at you. Yes, I'm great. I'm fine. <laughs> so now you will see the process of Manti. Manti. How we are starting it to prepare. So it's a privilege, huh? No one gets to see yeah, this. Not everybody is allowed to enter to the kitchen of Mayrik. Amazing. Because Mayrik, you know, it means mother. Yeah. So all mothers have their secrets. Exactly. That was great. Hello. 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 Wow. Manti? Manti. 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 Oh my god, it looks amazing. So it's combination of dough and uh, grounded beef. After we are putting it in the oven, it's kind of baked. And after it's portioned for enjoyment. So as you can see, she starts off here with the dough. She takes it through like two different stages here, makes it really long. Then they put it here and they cut it using this. Like, I've never seen this before. So they cut it with this into these tiny little squares. And then they put the beef, it's beef, right? Beef. They put the beef, and then she uses her hands to make it in this shape. Beautiful shape, really That's delicate. Boat shape. Boat shape. Boat shape. Boat shape. I didn't know that. <laughs> no one told me that. Awesome. It looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. Oh, I need to eat. Thank you. 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 She's preparing one of the versions of Armenian paflava with tiny uh, dough and with pistachios. Wow. In the portion we are serving walnuts and pistachio versions together okay. called Sara Burma. Okay, so favorite thin dough, then she puts a little bit of butter, yeah. right? Then she puts the pistachio. After it will be in the oven, after it will be baked, covered with sugar syrup, it will be softened. And here they're cooking other dishes. They're making kebabs right here. These kebabs look phenomenal. Beef kebabs. Wow, that looks so good too. Whoa. All right, my man, let's go eat. I have to eat something. All right, so I'm trying this little appetizer. It's like a dough, I guess red pepper, sesame seeds? Some seeds in there. Mm. Wow. Almost like a veg taco. Phenomenal. I'm serious. Ganats? Ganats, 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 ganats. Thank you, thank you all. So here we have so many different things. We have hummus, we have like a red pepper hummus, we have tartars right here, we have like a beef tartar. We also have uh, warm made lentils and also potatoes. This one looks phenomenal. So this is like Armenian tartar. Obviously, it's a twist, Middle, Middle Eastern twist. Get rid of that. No, I'll try this one next. Get the potato one. Wow. That was so good. It's almost like super minced meat broken down to like grains. I'm gonna try this. This is my favorite the eggplant. My favorite eggplant stuffed with like curd. You lost something. There's lots of pomegranate, but I'm good. So creamy. Roasted eggplant. 
the best in Armenia. Next up, we have a multi-layer like dough with three different Middle Eastern cheeses. This looks so good. Basically, it's the cheesy baklava. My friend taught me that right now. Whoa. Mm. So many layers. Very crunchy. The cheese is all melted. Mm. This is incredible. Incredible. Wow. This doesn't make good in the guy. Oh wow. Next up we have the manta, boat shaped with beef. But this in that the manta is hard to make, but in the box is Oh, and the yogurt on top? Wow. What a delicious dish. That's incredible. That's one of the oldest preserved recipes from the Armenian uh, cuisine. And over here, we have the kebab. This one's a little thinner. Mm. Love the spices. Super fresh. Wow. It's too good, it's too good. M more food. <laughs> All right, so for dessert, we have Sari Burma, which means yeah, mountain. mountain flavor bunch. Okay, and we have two different versions. We have the pistachio and we have the walnuts. I got the walnuts. Oh, you got the pistachio, that's good. You have the walnuts? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, nuts. Mm. Love it. Super nutty. I love it. Wow. The walnuts are great. I love the walnuts here. Fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Cheers. Get nuts. I like pistachio better. Mm. Super sweet. And walnuts better for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to change the plate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm taking this one. I'll have it, I'll have it. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the last thing we're trying here is, uh, I think it's like, what is it? It's a, it's a cheesecake with uh, rose jam. Rose jam? Oh, wow. This is great. This? Mm -hmm. More? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, guys, this is ridiculous. I actually love it. It's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, incredible Middle Eastern Armenian food. And that's it, my 10 day adventure here in Armenia is over. I can't tell you enough how much I love this place. And today we drove from Gumi all the way back to Yerevan and we ate some delicious Middle Eastern Armenian food and you saw how nice everybody was. We went to the back, we saw they make some food, then we went and we ate some delicious, delicious food. It was so good, everything was so mouthwatering, and I'm so happy I came to this country. I can't tell you enough. And yeah, it's 12.30 at night, I'm going straight to the airport. I have a three hour flight to Qatar, a one hour connection, and then a one hour flight to Kuwait, my 76th country. I'll see you guys in Kuwait. And they're actually calling me because I'm late. All right guys, gotta go, gotta go.